Hey guys, Saw Simon here, and today I'm talking to you about Predator hunting grounds and my good, bad, and ugly motherfucker impression from the free trial weekend. There are a lot of opinions going back and forth on both sides, so I figured I'd cut to the heart of the matter and give a true, honest opinion on how the game truly feels. If you enjoy my bullshit, hit the like button, subscribe, and leave a comment. Here we go. Okay, so I played the beta version of Predator Hunting Grounds. The game is, without a doubt, a lot of fun playing as either class. They nail the aesthetic of being the Predator and everything that comes with it. This game, just like Friday the 13th, truly makes you feel like you are playing as the monster. The game also nailed the feel of the original movie and makes you feel the tension and stress of being hunted by something you can't see. If you are a fan of the movies and comics, I can't see fans not loving this game despite its current flaws. If you are not a fan of the series, the game could be a little harder of a sell to you, especially if you played the Free Trial Weekend and you have a higher standard for your video games. Playing as the fire team is also very enjoyable. I find that you have more fun when playing with friends or even a random stranger that has a mic because communication makes the game feel more tense, especially when you're trying to explain where the predator is or if it's attacking you and you're begging for help. I don't want to get too deep into the fire team yet, so let's focus on the predator. Illiphonic nailed the Predator, that's what she said. When using the Predator's main two resources, Thermal Vision and Camouflage, the game makes you really feel like the Hunter. It even balances using this tech appropriately when it comes to energy consumption, meaning your energy doesn't drain insanely fast because you are running both abilities at the same time. Also, the energy refills twice as fast as it drains, effectively allowing you to run these abilities a lot over and over again, which is what you basically need to do. This is important information to know because these two abilities are your basic way of finding the fire team on these large maps and staying hidden. Your thermal vision allows you to see static ripples from gunfire, which informs you the general direction you should start going to find the fire team. Once found, you want to keep a distance and use your cloaking device or stay hidden until it's time to attack. One more important thing to mention with your vision is that you have another ability that works with it. When thermal vision is turned on, sometimes in the middle of the screen, you will have a target isolation scan by pressing the right directional pad. By hitting the D-pad, that's what she said, you will be able to perform the scan which locates exactly where the fire team is and shows you with a large red circle on the screen briefly. Simply follow the direction to the fire team. Keep in mind though that this target scan has a very, very long cooldown and isn't something you should waste. Also when using the scan, be sure to turn your screen around 360 so if the fire fire team is directly behind you, you can see that. So this would be the spot where most people's complaints will start. They felt the Predator overall was weak and that he was not as strong as he was in the movies. Because of this, most people feel like he needs a buff in order to make the game balanced. They think he needs to either do more damage or have a bigger health pool overall. People also felt that the Predator was way too loud and that his invisibility camo is pretty much useless. I agree with the latter but not the former. I think the Predator is more than powerful enough. I had issues in my first few matches like most people but that was due to not knowing the controls and because I was playing him wrong. which is what most people, I believe, are doing. You cannot run into the fire team and try to take them on in a straight up fight. The Predator is not meant to fight this way unless it's a one on one match. The Predator is like a deer hunter and in deer hunting you wait and you be quiet. The Predator is meant to be played as a silent killer that is never seen just like he was in the movies. If you don't recall, the Predator never put himself at getting ganged up on in the film because he never got close to his prey unless they were isolated. Otherwise, he kept a lot of distance between himself and them and watched until an opportunity presented itself. I think if more people learned how to do this, they wouldn't have as many complaints about the Predator not being strong enough, because once you level him up and get access to the combi stick and the blade disc, those arguments go right out the window. The combi stick is a powerful weapon that you can take out two fire team members with very fast and easy if you know where they are and don't get spotted. For this reason, and because there is a still a lot of other weapons we have yet to try out, I don't think the Predator needs a buff at all. I think people need to learn how to play him and be better at it. However, the second half of this complaint is that the Predator is too loud and his cloaking is useless because of the amount of noise he makes. I agree that he does make too much noise when using his cloaking device and even when he is stalking around the fire team, he is still way too loud. The other players should not be able to hear him at all unless shooting him and he is howling. I can understand the random clicking sound every so often to help unsettle people, but they should not be hearing him as much as they do because the stealth is part of his weaponry. His camo works, but others feel he is still visible. Crouching makes you more invisible, but again, and making less sound would help this issue, I feel. Along with this, if the fire team does see the Predator, they are able to mark him for his teammates, which basically outlines him for a good 3-5 to five seconds, at which point it doesn't matter how quiet or invisible you go because everyone can see you and all you can do is run if you are unaware of it. This should, without a doubt, be removed from the game because it seems silly for a game to try to be like this when that's not even possible in the movies where, you know, it's just silly. Plus, the fire team being able to revive dead teammates is a bit overpowered in their favor, I feel. 
They should fix this before release because you are already able to spot the predator once he starts aiming his plasma caster, but the fact that you can see him from the tree line, and then you can see all the leaves falling from the tree and the branches and such moving if he's standing on them or moving and running and jumping. These are easy to spot signs if you are trying to keep a lookout, so removing the sound he makes wouldn't be that big of a deal. It might even help with the buff argument of the predator not being strong enough. You shouldn't hear the predator until he is right up on you. Which leads to the next complaint about the game, which is the frame rate and graphics. Yes, the frame rate for the game is less than adequate at the moment, with the screen rate dropping or missing things at times. This coupled with the graphics can make for a bad experience when trying to impress people with a beta version of a game so they will go and buy the full version. The frame rate issues for sure need to be dealt with because they just do. You can't play a game like this and have the video be clipped or janky just because it pulls you out of the game for one, and for two, no one wants to play a shitty game and it feels unfair because you can't see shit. Hopefully these two things have already been addressed and were being improved upon before the beta came out, but time will tell on that front. As long as these issues are improved for the release, I could see the team doing more overtime to help fix these issues if they persist, which I believe they will be quick to respond to once the game is out. As for the graphics, yes, they could be improved upon for the PS4, whereas the PC version feels more seamless and clean. But at the same time, I feel the graphics are great for what the game is trying to be. One of the cool things about the game is the fact that you can't really tell the fire team members apart from the AI units as the Predator. This happened to me several times and it helps to create confusion and panic in both groups I feel. Dropping down and killing two people quickly to find out neither of them was the actual player is scary because you don't know if those players see you now and are about to waste you. Tuning up the graphics a bit might be a better idea than making them more crystal clear. I think the graphics of this game are also trying to place you in that 80s aesthetic similar to how Friday the 13th did with its graphics gameplay and even its intro with a VHS tape tracking bit which I enjoyed every time I loaded up the game. Some other small gripes people felt about the game are as follows. A lack of information related to the game and what we were actually getting with it as far as, you know, how many maps, you know, cosmetic stuff, how many predators, you know, different types of weapons, updated stuff, more game modes, and so on. People also don't like the lack of communication from Illiphonic because nobody is really talking about us. However, they did have a podcast a few days ago which I'm going to go about in a news update that should be released today or tomorrow. People feel there is a massive lack of content, as I said, you know, lack of maps and such and such. There's no single player campaign of any kind that we know about, and there's been no word on if there will be. Sometimes, also, during gameplay, the Predator doesn't log into a match and never does, which wastes the match pretty much and it's kind of just boring running around as the fire team. And the other issue is sometimes matchmaking takes too long, which I'm sure will be improved upon by launch. Well folks, that is all I have for you on this one. I know it was a lot, but I wanted to give a great overall impression of the game trial that lets you kind of really know what was worth knowing and what needs to be improved upon and just if the game was worth, you know, checking out for yourself. If you listen to all of this crap, I'm glad I didn't bore you too much and you found it useful. Thanks again and hope to keep you coming back and blah blah blah. Peace out. See you on Friday.